right, so here is the otherworldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. The Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you got to stand out and take note when you fight someone like that. So close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Great. tonight. Great. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot, he kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Oh, you're talking about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Nice pass. Oh, right into mouth. This is where he wants to be. Gotta be careful here. Working from the top here. Pretty good ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. And 
busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh. Getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Making all these shots count. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Medov. That was a slick transition. Nermago Medov's got his back again. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. All in on the rear naked choke. And now that he's got the choke on the neck. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Metal. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success, and you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. O'Malley gets it. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was Two shots there. Lands a nice leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two men in those uppercuts. He blocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. Blood in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Look at arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Oh, man, that was slick. You need to work out this position. O'Malley gets back up here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the puck. Well, another big moment here for your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. Human being bare, but this guy just doesn't seem to matter. Beautiful kick lands there. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent. To... All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Great submission defense on this play. He's gotta be careful here. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Sean O'Malley. What a strike from off of his back. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 
Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Just missing on the high kick there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Nurmagomedov. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another takedown land. And a very oh. close run. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Opponent's wobble chance. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, wow, Kimura right into the arm bar now. That was a nasty transition. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Lands a nice punch from his back. Big right hook there by the champ. Nice defense. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good, solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Khabib's back in side control. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I love it. I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. O'Malley's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. It's got to change something. 
fourth round now. Fight scared. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that thing. in half guard now. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Don't stay in front of your back. Get on your head. Let's go. Three minutes. Work. Come on, I'll stand you up. Let's work. Come on, bro. Keep those hands on your back. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Nice transition. Great job landing from the top position. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Oh, he thought he How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get soft. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. 20 seconds left. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, and there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants Ready to get fight. the desired finish. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC legend.
lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw.